Hi there and welcome to the Fox Week demos. In this demo we'll show you how to keep um, two instances of Salesforce in sync with each other. So specifically what we're going to do is when accounts or contacts are created on a production instance of Salesforce, we want those objects to be synced across to a staging instance of Salesforce. And when contacts are um, created, we want those contacts to be associated with the uh, account with which they're so the so the account contact relationship to be maintained across from production uh, to staging. So on this tab here on Google Chrome, you'll see we have the accounts on the production system. Then over on staging, we've got um, the accounts here. There's, you can see there's no accounts. Uh, but what we've done in order to maintain the relationship between production and uh, staging is we've modified the account object on the staging system and we've added an additional field called production account ID so that we can hook the two together okay so um, the production and, and staging instance together so let's start let's just flick over to Foxweave here now and let's create the, the, the integration application and um, I'll call it SF Salesforce prod to staging sync Okay, so the first pipeline we're going to sync the account objects. So it's going to be Salesforce in, Salesforce out. Select the production account. Select the account object on the production account. Then the output of that pipeline is going to be to the staging system. And again, it's going to be an account object. Yeah. And we'll come back to this in a minute. Should just rename it first. Down to sync. And then we add another pipeline for the contacts. So obviously you could add opportunities, contracts, all then you could sync all of them, but then you could have a pipeline for each one. We're just going to do contacts. Um now so production account. And contact object. When a contact is created, we want to create that contact over on the staging system. Contact. Okay. My spelling is not too good. I'm typing. Um, so now what we need to do is in order to populate that production ID object on the um, staging system, we need to add a little bit of JavaScript here. So it's basically it's a mapping, but the mapping is a direct mapping. So what we do is just var out equals in, okay, and then populate the that, that property on the output object by mapping in the account ID from the input in the ID and that's that's what's so that's the account sync sorted out and then on the contact this is a little bit more involved we need to also add a bit of JavaScript but um what we do here basically is we add a little bit of a query. So a, a, a Salesforce object using a Salesforce object query language. So again, we do var out equals in. So that basically maps the input to the output directly. The, the Salesforce, the, the account object from production to the account object on staging. And then we, add, we basically populate the account ID on the staging system by using the this little bit of structure query language. So the syntax basically is hash query call and that basically tells the output connector that this to do a read. Basically does a select on the, the staging system and it looks up the ID from the account where the production ID is equal to the um, account ID from the input. So that's how we basically wire them together. Okay, so that's it.
No, let's start that. You want to run it on Foxweave, you could run it on Cloud Bees, you could run it in house either as well. So, good choice in terms of where you run it. That's the integration I've started now. So, let's add uh, an account in the production system. So, it's called um, Monkey Toys. Okay, so obviously, you can add other stuff on the account as well. So, that's the account created on the production system. So if I switch over to the staging system now and do a refresh, you should see funky toys. Okay, so we look at funky toys there. You can see that the product account ID is populated. So that's the account ID on the staging or on the production system. Um now let's click back again. To the production system, let's add a contact on Funky Toys. So, when we add this contact on the production system, the contact should get synced across to the staging system, but it should also get wired in, hooked into the, uh, to the, the Funky Toys account. Okay, so there's Tom Fenley, and let's scroll down, and you can see he's a contact on Funky Toys. That's it. Thank you.